Mimi, wake up. Your friends are here. Mimi, let's go play. It's such a nice day. <gasps> I'll be right there. Uh-oh. Mimi's in trouble. There's no water in the tap. And she can't wash up. Where did the water go? Mimi, are you ready? What's wrong? Theo, Didi, I think we're out of water. That's so weird. Where did it go? Maybe you didn't close the tap yesterday and all the water poured out? Did you hear any loud noises last night? Maybe a giant came and drank oh. all the water. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> if there really was a giant, he must have left Prince. Hmm. I don't see any prints. Oh, it wasn't a giant. It was an evil witch. See, she flew here on her broom and put a curse on our tap. Hold on. How did she fly away? She must have had two brooms. You evil witch! We'll get our water back. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Ta da! Huh? Be careful, kids. You could break something. What's going uh. on? A witch put a curse on the water. And we're going to break the curse. Ta-da! <laughs> but it wasn't a witch, Mimi. Here's some water so you can brush your teeth. So where did the water go? See that truck? And the workers? We, we see it. This morning, they're changing out the old plumbing. So they turned off the water. What are those big pipes for? There are special pipes that go under the ground in every town. They bring water from natural sources to special processing plants. And then the water goes to every individual house. When the pipes get old, they can spring leaks, so they have to get replaced with new ones. If the water is hot, does that mean it came from a very hot river? No, it just gets heated right at home. Oh, now I get it. Aw, oh, I wish it had been an evil witch. Yeah, we almost beat her. Let's go outside and watch them changing the pipes. Today, Mimi, cool. Dee Dee, yeah. and Theo learned where tap water comes from. It is kind of sad that there was no witch after all. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Um. Mm. 
of the dentist. He wants to help you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> oh. Hey. Hey. Uh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Remember these simple rules. Floss and brush every day. Eat your veggies and go to the dentist for regular checkups. Come, 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 come. Did you brush your teeth? Mm hmm. Then it's time for bed. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hello. Yellow, pink, green, purple. for bed no sorry but you still have to go but why 
kids can't go to bed too late. Hmm, but why? I wish I could be a grown-up already. You think being a grown-up is better than being a kid? Huh? You really think so? Of course! If you're sure, then how about spending the whole day tomorrow as a grown-up? You can even watch TV as late as you want in the evening. I'm in! Mom, is that okay? Well, sure. Great! Deal. Okay, go to bed. You have to be up early for work tomorrow. Woohoo! Mimi was so happy to accept this exciting deal. But she couldn't even imagine what would happen in the morning. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Mimi, get up, sweetie. Um, I don't wanna. I wanna sleep. But you promised Dad. I know. I have to be a grown-up today. Ah! Oh! <sighs> What's for breakfast? Whatever you cook. You're the grown-up today. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Mimi was having a hard time in the morning, <gasps> but she was still doing her best. She would have enjoyed the breakfast she cooked, but she was too sleepy to enjoy anything. The day just started, which means Mimi has a lot to do. She's going to work with her dad. To make sure Mimi was comfortable, Mr. Unicorn put a tiny desk next to his own for her. Yes! Mimi worked hard all day long, trying to do everything her dad did. <coughs> so, Mr. Unicorn paid Mimi for all her hard work. We're finally going home! Not quite. First, we need to go to the grocery store. Oh, no. When they get to the store, Mr. Unicorn says, Since you're the grown-up, pick the groceries yourself. Cool! Mimi picked out everything she wanted, oh, but no. that's not what grown-ups oh. do. So, Mr. Unicorn went with her to pick out new things. <gasps> That'll be forty dollars. <clears throat> you did a great job today, Mimi. Watch as much TV as you want. Thanks, Dad. Uh, oh, and also... I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, for what? Sorry, I don't want to be a grown-up anymore. It's too hard. I told you, sweetie. Just enjoy being a kid. You can be a grown-up later. Thanks. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Mimi. Good night. Mimi had a very long day, and she's very tired. But now she knows how great it is to be a kid. She can just listen to her parents, and everything will be okay. Mrs. Unicorn came to pick the kids up from daycare. <laughs> Hi, Miss Moo. Hi, Mrs. Unicorn. How are the kids today? Amazing as always. <laughs> That's great. You kids ready to go? Yes! We're going on an amazing journey home. See you tomorrow, Mrs. Moo. See you tomorrow, kids.
And they're all going to walk back together. It was hot outside, so the kids got some ice cream before continuing on their journey. Come on. Dee Dee made a little mess. Dee Dee! You have ice cream on your face. Where? Here? <laughs> <laughs> you look old. Huh? You look like a grandpa. <laughs> mm. Whoa, guys, look. What is that? Whoa. Let's go check it out. Come, let's go. Let's find out what it is first, then go check. What do you think it could be? A huge lollipop! <gasps> oh, what? I think it's an alien that fell out of his UFO, and we have to help him. Yay! I think it's a huge sword. Only a worthy warrior would be able to pull it out. Oh. Yeah! Want me to tell you what huh? it really is? Of course! Let's get closer. Uh, See? It's just a scarecrow. Ooh. A scarecrow? Yes. Farmers use them to scare birds away from eating their crops. The birds think there's a person in the field, so they don't come close. Oh, oh that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Want to make one at home? Totally! And then let's go. Ready to make a scarecrow? Yeah! We'll need two branches. Yay! <laughs> uh. Make a body out of hay. Should we put clothes on him? Yeah! Let's use one of Mr. Unicorn's old blazers. You don't mind, right? <laughs> of course not. What? We'll use a ball to make the head. And we'll give him a nice hat. Yay! What do you think? Me too. See, he's not scary at all. No, he's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now it's lunchtime. Yeah! The kids and Mimi's parents made their very own scarecrow. It won't scare birds away, it's just for fun. Mimi and her mom are going shopping. Mimi really likes one particular toy. Do you like that toy? I love it! Will you get it for me? For your birthday. But I want it now! It's so expensive. We came here to buy groceries, you know. Hmm. <gasps> Can I buy it for myself? That's a great idea. Where will you get the money? I'll earn it! Very interesting. How will you do that? I'll come up with something. Okay. Mrs. Unicorn was very impressed by Mimi's idea, so she decided to help her out. When Mimi gets home, she starts thinking of ways to earn enough money to afford the toy. Mimi spent a lot of time thinking until she got too tired and fell asleep. What are you up to? thinking of ways to make some money. And how's that going? I haven't come up with anything yet. That's okay, I have an idea. Yay! There are a lot of fruits and berries around us. No, there aren't. <laughs> Not here, silly, outside. Oh, right! <laughs> 
What if you pick some? We can use them to make juice and then you can sell it. Yay! That's a great idea! I love you, Mom! Love you too, sweetie. Can I invite Theo and Dee Dee? Of course. Mimi is so happy. She calls her friends and they agreed to help her out right away. Here are some baskets. Just stay close to home. Okay, Mom. You ready? Yeah. I'll get the most fruit. No, I will. Let's see who will get the most. The kids can't wait to start picking fruits. The kids filled up their baskets with fruit and carried them back to Mimi's place. I think we got too much fruit. Yeah. I like this. The kids are already a little tired, but their work isn't done. Mimi and her mom start making juice. But first, they need to make a stand. So, Mr. Unicorn, Theo, and Dee Dee start putting one together. I have a feeling we're gonna sell out right away. I hope so. I'm already sleepy. Here's the first customer. Oh, yeah. But I have some juice. Of course, that'll be 75 cents. Mrs. Sheep gives her a dollar. Keep the change. This is delicious. Thank you. Wow. Word about Mimi's delicious juice spread all around town. Everyone wants to try it. Phew! We worked hard! Yeah, I'd do it again. Same here! The next day, Mimi and her mom headed to the store to buy the toy. Mimi really wanted to buy that toy. But she remembered that she couldn't have raised this money without the help of her friends. So she decided to buy three toys instead, one for everyone. Mimi gave Theo and Dee Dee their toys right away. Friendship is more important than anything. Today, Mimi, Theo and Dee Dee are just looking at the clouds. Look, that cloud looks like a bunny. Yeah! A bunny. But bunnies are supposed to hop. How about now? Huh? Mimi is great at using her imagination to play with her friends. Wow! Oh, that cloud looks like a plane! Yay! Hey, that cloud looks like an elephant! Where? It really does. Whoa, you imagine something really strong. It's like the water's really dripping. I can feel it too. It's not me. It's that huge dark cloud. It's about to rain. Let's go. Ah! Ah! Hurry up or we'll get soaked. They'll have to wring us out. Like a sponge? Ew, I don't want to be a sponge. I see. Well, here's some blankets. Get bundled up, sit on the couch and warm up. Who wants hot cocoa? Me! Oh, no. Look, it stopped raining and there's a... Uh, there's... Uh, I don't know what it is. Wow. Whoa! I wonder what that is. Oh, I know! It's a huge piece of candy huh? for giraffes! No, it's a huge bridge! We can run on it, then sit on a cloud and fly around the sky. That makes sense! I think it's a huge space caterpillar. No, it's a bridge! It's a caterpillar! No, it's candy! Caterpillar! Bridge! Candy! No, it's hot cocoa! 
We saw that in the sky, and we don't know what it is. First of all, you guys should relax a little. Second, I love all of your ideas. But that's actually a rainbow. A rainbow? What's a rainbow? Well, after it rains, the air gets humid. Which means it's full of little water droplets. When the sun shines at a certain angle through the water, a rainbow appears. Cool! Rainbows are shaped like an arch. You see all those colors? Yes! How many colors do you see? Seven! That's right! Can you name them all? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo purple. Great job! Now you know what it is, so you don't need to fight. Thanks, Dad! We won't fight anymore! You promise? Yeah! Great! Then why are you still here? Look what a beautiful day it is outside! Yeah, let's go play outside and try to touch the rainbow! Yay! Oh, that's not my Coco. Yeah. That's how our funny friends learned what a rainbow is. And they even promised not to fight anymore. The kids are having fun running around and playing today. They're all well rested and energized. <laughs> <laughs> ah! An alien is chasing us! You can't catch us. <laughs> no, no, not me! <laughs> That's it! You're the alien now! <laughs> no! <laughs> but it's almost sunset, which means it's time for the kids to all go home. Mimi! <gasps> Mimi, it's time to come home. Oh! <laughs> Mom, can I play a little more? No, sorry, sweetie. It's getting late. But, Mom! Theo, come home. Dee Dee, come home already. Okay. Mimi, we have to go. Bye, Mimi. Bye, guys. Mimi is very upset, even though she sees that it's late and time to go home. While Mimi was walking, she thought of a question. Mom? Yes? Why does the sun hide every night? Why does that mean we have less time to play? Let's sit down and I'll explain it to you. It's all because the sun is a star. Our planet revolves around it. Then there's the moon, which revolves around the Earth. Wow! The Earth spins around the sun over the course of 365 days, or one year. And the moon spins around the Earth, which takes 27 days. Cool! But why does the sun disappear at night? I'm not done with my story. Along with the Earth revolving around the sun, it also spins on its own axis. It takes 24 hours to complete a turn. So when it's night for us, it's day on the other side of the planet. Wow, that's interesting. Thanks, Mom. Now I get it. When the sun sets, I'll go straight home so that the kids on the other side of the planet can play too. That's wonderful, Mimi. For now, let's have dinner. Then you can go to sleep. Okay. Mimi had another big day of learning new things. 
And she's going to bed early so she can be strong and refreshed to play all day long tomorrow. <laughs>